Hi, this is CES production function with its numerical example. We will try to calculate the loss of the substitution as well as we will try to find out the marginal products and we will also try to establish the condition for the producers of the Before we go ahead, I request you to subscribe to this channel so that this channel grow and uh, more people could benefit from it. Also press the bell icon so that you get the latest videos without any delay. So let's get to the numerical example that we have. We basically have this uh, given uh, numerical form of the uh, CES production function that is constant elasticity of substitution production function. And uh, if we have uh, the given form in a numerical way, we can extract the data. We compare it with the standard form. This is the value of delta and uh, gamma, and this is the value of delta. This is the value of one minus delta. This is the value of a row, so is this, and this is uh, V over delta uh, row with a minus sign. So this is why I have uh, extracted these values 10, 11, 0.575, and 0.25, and 1. Now we can easily calculate the last rate substitution. Uh, before we go ahead, just a reminder that V is equal to 1. So this is uh, production function with constant returns to scale. Now, elasticity substitution can be found easily by uh, using this formula that we have learned already. Uh, the value for row was 11. So we substituted it here and sigma is equal to 0 0.083, which is less than 1. It means that there is less substitution ability and the production function is likely to be close to the limited production function because it has uh, no substitution ability between the inputs. Now we can calculate the marginal product of capital MPK and that is very easy because we have to take the partial derivative of the production function with respect to K and here you see we have taken the derivative with respect to K and uh, 10 is a constant coefficient coming outside we are going to take the derivative of this expression. Power rule is applicable before because of this whole part. So this whole part comes outside and the reduction of 1 in the power which is given minus 1 over 11. Uh, so this is the minus 1 of the formula. And then we have the, part, uh, the derivative uh, with power 1. Instead of minus 1 over 11, we have 1. So uh, this is the uh, sum here, minus 12 over 11. And we have simplified this as well. We have written it like this. And we've taken the derivative here. This is the derivative of the expression. And again, the power rule is applied here. And now we are going to, so we have uh, MPK and we are going to uh, simplify this further and this simple algebra will lead us to this form. Now we can also calculate the marginal product of labor and you can see that we have taken the derivative with respect to labor of the production function. Uh, again 10 comes outside which is the value of gamma, it's actually a constant. So um, we are going to do the same the process of applying the power rule. You can pause the video and see it here as we have done uh, above in case of MPK. So the final answer would be equal to this. And now we can easily find out the producer's equilibrium condition uh, in case of CES production function because this is the uh, condition in its general form. And when we uh, substitute the value of MPK, here it is, and MPL, here it is, uh, the cancellation will happen. A major part of this expression will be cancelled out and we will be left with this uh, expression. So now we are going to reciprocalize this term so that its power becomes positive. And now we can extract the value of labor from here. It is possible. So uh, labor uh, is extracted out and further this uh, K12 okay, got cancelled out with the whole part 1 over 12. So um, K comes outside because uh, of the cancellation of the powers. And this is the uh, expression of labor in terms of capital and prices of the two inputs that is PK and PM. This is also known as the optimal factor combination condition and this is uh, in case of CES production function that we have just developed. 
uh, MPK, MPL, and uh, elasticity of substitution, and the condition for equilibrium. This is what we did in this video. I hope uh, you have benefited from it. Thank you.